This is Seth David from the world famous Nerd Enterprises Incorporated bringing to you another special screencast. This time we're going to talk about QuickBooks transaction history. Specifically how to print them and make nice reports out of them. And we're not talking about anything that you'll find in the reports menu. This is when you're looking at a transaction and you click the history button. You can click to see the transaction history and from there you can print a report that's only available there. That's what we're going to show you. We're going to show you two different ways to run it one in a PDF, one in Excel, and we're going to show you how powerful this is in terms of being able to give clients or customers valuable information about how you've applied their payments or how you've applied payments you've made to them, whichever the case might be. So stay tuned, and uh, I'll show you what this looks like in just a second. Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call now, 866-945-8070 for information about private trainings. We record the live session so you can review it as often as you like afterwards. Hi, Seth David here, and I'm going to show you what I was talking about in that intro in terms of how to print this. Now, this is really inspired by a discussion I saw going on on LinkedIn where people were talking about their favorite reports, and a lot of people were saying it'd be great to have a report that would show for a particular payment which invoices it paid. And there's the other side of that, which is when I've paid a bunch of bills, perhaps with a single payment, uh, I might want to have the ability to run a report that shows how I've applied my payment to my vendor's bills so that I can go back and forth with my vendor and figure out any mismatching that might have gone on. And there's no report in, in the reports module here in QuickBooks that gives you that. You can run a customer balance detail and you can run a vendor balance detail, but those just give you the history. It shows you the invoices and the payments. It doesn't show you specifically how a payment was applied, which bill it was applied to. So here I'm going to show you exactly what that looks like. So the first thing we'll do is we'll look at the bill situation. <clears throat> Let's say that I have this bill payment here to Nerd Enterprises from the sample company which paid two bills. Now I can see that clearly enough by looking in this bill payment screen. Right? I can see that it paid two bills, that I paid fifteen hundred on one. But this isn't a report that I can, you know, run and give to a client really. So what I may want to do is click this history button. This history button now will show me a summary version of the two bills, but now I want to be able to put it into a format that I can really use to send to the client. And that's where this print button comes in handy. Now, of course, you're thinking, oh, but I don't want to print it. I want to create a PDF. No problem. The thing to do is, and if you haven't done this already, if you don't already have anything like this installed on your computer, is come over here, go to cutepdf.com. That's cute as in, oh, that's so cute pdf.com and you can download a free PDF converter that works just like a printer on your computer and it becomes an option in terms of whenever you go to print something you can print to the cute PDF writer and that will create a PDF out of whatever you're about to print instead of printing it to the printer so make sure you've got that once you've got that you can easily run this report right into a PDF so you click print and of course the print dialog then comes up and you'll see I've got the choice here under my printers to go to the cute PDF writer. So I click print again and it's going to open the cute PDF writer which has its own dialog that will pop up just asking me where I want to save that PDF. So I'm going to overwrite this transaction history PDF I'd already created with this one and click save and it of course asks me if I want to replace it. Obviously if you're running this for the first time you won't run into that. And now if I open up this PDF I'll show you what it looks like. It's a nice little report actually that will show here's the payment right and here's how it was applied here's the bills I applied it to I put fifteen hundred or I'm sorry I put a thousand dollars on this bill leaving fifteen hundred still remaining from the payment and then on the second invoice I paid down fifteen hundred which was the rest of it pays off that whole bill and of course pays the balance so this is how you run it into a PDF now let's say you want it branded you know so that it doesn't just uh, you know say bill payment history no problem. Instead of printing to the PDF writer, we can come back here and this is an option I think most people will probably ignore because they have no idea what it is or how to use it. But you can print to a file. And if you drop this down here, you'll see one of your choices is a comma delimited file. That's really an Excel file. It's just a very generic version of an Excel file. Bottom line is it's a very generic text file that can be opened up in any database program, but Excel is certainly one program it can be opened in. So instead I print to that and I call it transaction history and I cheated because I already had other files in there named transaction history now what happens is it gives me that CSV file 
And if I double click this, it will open in Excel. And then I can save it as an Excel file once I've done this. So now in Excel, you just have to widen some of these columns up. You can do that by highlighting all the columns and just double clicking the right extreme of any of these column headers. Notice the, the pointer, the mouse uh, symbol changes when I go between the two columns. So I just double click there and it widens it as much as it needs to be. Now I can stick a logo on here or do whatever I need to do uh, you know, in order to format this and make it look pretty. So again, I've got a nice easy way to run reports that, uh, that, ref that show how a payment was applied. That was really the essential issue. Now let's look at what that looks like on the other side. It's basically the same thing. If I go into my chart of accounts, I go into my bank, I want to look at some of these payments that were made, or that I received rather. So let's go edit this deposit. And I can see because it comes from undeposited funds that this comes from a customer payment. So I can choose my payments, or I'm sorry, I choose my history button. Bring that over here and it shows the payment. So I go to the payment. And here's the payment. Notice here's an example of a payment that paid partly one invoice. It paid off one invoice uh, partially and then paid off the balance of another. So again, I click my history button from here. So it'll show me here's the invoice, here are the payments, or here are the two invoices rather that it paid, and then it shows the deposit too. So I can print this. And again, I can go to my PDF writer or I can print it to uh, a, a CSV file. So let's go to the PDF writer. We'll print this. And we'll call this one customer transaction history just to distinguish. And then let's see what that looks like. And there it is. So this clearly shows I uh, received a payment of 2000 I applied 1500 of it to invoice number one. I applied 500 of it to invoice number two. And I deposited it on October 31st. They don't necessarily need to see the deposit. And I may not want to show that to them, which would be another argument for doing it to an Excel file instead. So again, I go to print. And I come over here to file. And I choose common delimited. And I say print, and again, we'll call this customer transaction history. And I can open that up in Excel. And then I can just delete this last line item. I don't need it. This gives me enough information right here. The total payment was 2000 1500 went to invoice one, 500 went to invoice two. That uses up the whole $2,000 payment. I can total it up here just so that it's completely clear. And then I can send this, or I can save this to a PDF once I've done this. Then if I've got the PDF writer, I just go to File and Print, and it works the same way from Excel. I go to my cute PDF writer, and this is what it's going to look like. So I may want to go back and reformat this. So I go to my Page Layout, and I say Fit it to one page, right? And then instead of a portrait, I might want to do Landscape, or I can shrink this up. I don't need it to be that wide. Then I can go back to portrait and I go to print. And here's what it looks like. So I look in my preview, I see everything's there, it looks good. And of course, if it were me, and you know me, I would take time to do some more formatting on this and make it look pretty. But I don't want to spend time doing that, that on this recording. I have a ton of videos on how to do formatting in Excel. So if this helps you, great. If not, give me a call. Send me an email. Let me know, uh, you know why this doesn't help you solve that problem. And, and uh, maybe I can come up with some ideas for you. Seth at NerdEnterprises.com is my email. 866-945-8070 is my phone number. Call me, email me, get in touch with me, let me know how I can help you. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the web.